morning, Bearded Bishop here with another Daily Devo. Hey, before we get started, I just wanted to uh, just kind of tell everybody, um, all three of my viewers that are watching this, my mom and the other two, uh, that uh, today's the first day of school, and man, uh, Brittany and myself, we have been praying so hard for this school year. Um, not only, you know, our oldest child who's in school, but man, we've been praying for our faculty, the administration, teachers, coaches, you know, everybody. Um, you know, the food prep, the nurses, everything, uh, that, man, that this is going to be a great year and a, a year that, that we can all look back on and remember in a good way. Last year was a, a pretty tough year for a lot of different people in a lot of different ways and our family included. Uh, but, man, um, just praying, uh, Brittany and I are just both praying that this year is just an amazing year that God uh, works. And, and, man, I'm, I'm praying uh, myself uh, for, for our oldest daughter, Cora, man, I pray that she's a a warrior uh, for Christ. I pray she's the next Billy Graham. And uh, man, so anyways, be praying for your children and we're praying for protection uh, for our schools uh, as well. Uh, but man, in regards to teachers, uh, things like that, I don't know if you ever had a teacher when you were in school who had just kind of felt like they were like maybe missed their morning cup of Folgers, uh, always kind of in a bad mood, always kind of yelling. Um, it seems like there's maybe kind of always one of those maybe uh, that just kind of seems like they're always yelling at people but here's the thing that i think about with with teachers is that man they got into the profession and and for the majority of it this is the case they are there uh, not because the pay is amazing or anything like that they are there because they love students and they love them they care for them and they want the best for them and whenever they teach them and whenever they encourage them whenever they correct them it's because they want them to be the best best version of themselves they can possibly be and and a lot of times the the teachers coaches they can see uh the future they can see the best in what that child has to offer and so man that's why they correct them like that and and the bible actually uh speaks to us this way uh, as well because we don't really like correction we don't like it when people come down on us but correction is a, a great thing when it leads us closer to christ and so the bible says this in second timothy chapter three um, it says in verse 15, you have been taught that the Holy Scriptures from childhood and they have given you wisdom to receive salvation that comes from trusting in Christ Jesus. Verse 16, all scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and it teaches us to do what's right. And so, man, just following along with the series that we've been going through at church on uh, survival mode this week talking about surviving our mistakes man the bible here is to correct us and and it helps us and a lot of people look at that and they go i don't want to be corrected i don't want to be told that i'm wrong but man god's doing it because he cares for us and 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 we have the bible that shows us when we need to be corrected and so the only way that you're going to know that is if you read the book and so man i encourage you today take some time out stop pray and man open up god's word and be open to him correcting you. Be open to the Holy Spirit correcting you and saying, man, these things in your life are really like not strong right now and you need to work on those. So, man, I hope that that helps. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.